Hello friends, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. If you have not downloaded OBS till now, do that so you can catch up with these settings. Do you know what's the number one reason why people drop out of live sessions? Trust me guys, it happens because of poor stream quality. So where's the gap? Gap lies in low operating knowledge of OBS or any other encoding software. In this tutorial, I will talk about OBS. What are its best settings for YouTube? I will suggest you to watch the complete tutorial at once and then watch it again by following these steps. So let's now switch to OBS. Smart way to handle this is to create profile and scene collection. Don't bother much about the profile or scene name. It's purely for your own remembrance. If I am a gamer, I will choose a new profile, games, and a new scene collection, something similar, all games. Someone doing a product launch on YouTube can have the product name in profile and scene collection can be new product launch live. I mentioned it's only for your own reference. I will share the best settings I know for games and also talk about settings when talking face to face with your audience. Let's begin with the games profile. We need to get our scenes and sources right. This scene is no different from the scene collection name. Just do a right click on the scene, give it some name. It's okay to mention precise name of the game, burnout. Do a right click on this box and create more scenes. Mention names of other games for which you want to do these settings. Let's create source now. Do a right click on this box and use this plus button to select the action. I mean this is where the action starts. Logically speaking, I want to capture a game. OBS knows that it seems. It has a game capture. Ok, select it. Same thing, give it a name. So we are on properties for Burnout Paradise Live. But where is the game? That's the point to make a note of. Always open the application before you get into creating sources. We can always save our settings and come back to this box. For now, let me cancel this, open the game and come back in few seconds. Okay, now I have the game open in background. Choose the mode, capture specific window. And under window you will have the game, select it. If you don't see the game inside this box, do this alt and tap together, play the game for 10 seconds and come back to OBS and you will see the game there. Windows match priority, executable name is fine. Check this box, multi adapter compatibility. For scale the resolution, if you don't see the game covering the full screen, you may use this option. Follow the same process to create sources for any other game that's part of the scenes. Ok, now let's create a scene for new product launch. Rename the scene through right click. So what are the ideas? I mean there can be a powerpoint presentation display for which you may want to choose window capture. Choose the presentation from this window. You will see the presentation in this box if that's open in the background. Check these two boxes, capture cursor and multi adapter compatibility. Ok to save. Add more sources like webcam, choose the video capture device so your audience can see you. Set the resolution to custom, my hardware allows only for HD, I am using webcam of my laptop, FPS is fine at 30. For rest options, default is fine, ok to proceed. Same way you can add other sources like a web browser, open your web browser in the background, add a source, window capture, choose the browser and you are done. So we have a presentation on top of the layer, then webcam and then browser. If I click once on this I button of PPT, I can see the next layer webcam. When you are live, it will not be a good idea to fiddle with I button to hide or unhide a layer. So there's a way out and that's hotkeys. Let's have a look. Go to settings and under hotkeys, give it some numbers to hide and unhide. For example, show PPT 1, hide PPT 1, show webcam 2. Hide webcam 2, show browser 3, hide browser 3. I am back. I wish if I could hear a shout back from you, are you with me or lost? Don't worry, we'll do a quick revision. So far you have learnt about profile, layers and scenes. And you have also got a fair idea about what these layers are and how to use them. Well. We will now move to settings and before that I would like to tell you when you are working on OBS you can record and stream at the same time. So let's go back. There is nothing much under the general settings. Show confirmation dialog when starting and stopping stream. Check these boxes. Ok let's now go to stream settings. Since we are covering YouTube let's keep this at custom. 
to get url and stream key we need to go to youtube live stream and then do copy paste be sure not to reveal your stream key otherwise someone else may stream on your name i am not covering youtube settings here i can make a separate video on it if you want but for a quick glance all these fields are important title description category and others are important too after you copy your url and stream key save it and proceed let's talk about output tab if you are streaming for the first time keep this at simple setting up video bitrate and encoder are two important settings of this page give your good quality time to this youtube has already made the job easier check this link encoder settings for youtube i have shared it in description of this video let's talk about 1080p this is full hd resolution you need 3000 to 6000 kbps bitrate range this is for 30 fps if you are looking at doubling the frame rate to 60 then your video bitrate should also increase by 50% if you want to check your internet speed go to speedtest.net then settings and change the measurement to kilobits output section of obs is the place where most people make mistake if you are someone like me with higher internet speed you can go ahead and put a video bitrate of 15000 while the need may be to broadcast at 1080p let's pick up another example to do a broadcast at 720p i need a bitrate between 1500 to 4000 kbps if i was getting a upload of 2000 kbps it may still be sufficient to do a video capture but looking at playing a high graphic game it may not really work i would also like to tell you that playing games without buffering also involves other factors like your pc cpu gpu and of course ram so the solution lies in testing it multiple times before you go live if you are getting an upload speed of 2000 kbps you treat it at 80% and leave the rest for system resources now talking about encoders x264 is the default recommended encoder i would suggest you to use quicksync by intel or nvidia if you are looking at playing high graphic games because while testing for this tutorial i did a practical run by using x264 and tried playing high graphic game even at a high upload speed of 20 mbps i was getting high buffering at receiver end so let's now go back recording path and recording quality you can set if you need to save a copy of your live stream i will suggest recording format to be mp4 that's more universal let's have a look at advanced output mode obs gives a choice here you may want to live stream at a higher bitrate and save a recorded copy at a lower bitrate or whichever way you want this to be key frame interval recommendation here is to keep this between 2 to 4 audio tab desktop audio and mic audio should be kept at default if you are using a different audio source like yeti here i can choose that and proceed save changes and now let's go to video settings my hardware doesn't allow me to go for higher base canvas so i can't go full hd so this obviously means i can't do a full hd video broadcast using this default camera i may decide to choose a 720p resolution or lower this is my need fps 30 is good enough unless you are playing a high graphic game with lot of frame changes while playing games i have seen people doing 60 fps without doing a thorough check on cpu resources and internet speed you know what's the worst host is busy playing games and your audience comes and goes because of buffering or frame dropping so please be wise and don't overdo this hotkeys setting a hotkey to start and end the stream is a good choice rest you can explore i will suggest you not to fiddle with the advanced settings they are right as a preset at any point of time if you want to set your obs to default go to file from the top then show settings folder and delete the files that you see there I think that's it I knew the best about the OBS settings Last month I helped a friend do the complete setup everything went fine but for this guy who complained that he was getting problems at 1080p 60 frames per second but he never got this problem at 720p 60 frames per second when we deep dive to find out what the real problem was we discovered that his mobile device supported 405 GPU Adreno When I checked the same thing on my device which has a 330 Adreno GPU it worked fine so I discovered for my own self that it also depends upon the device that the other person is using the graphics that also makes whether the streaming is buffering free or everything is all right 
and do you know if you broadcast a game on youtube it automatically gets broadcasted on youtube gaming i want to leave you with a tip before you go live test test and test multiple times so that there's no problem when you actually go live well if you have any comments put that in comments below i would look forward to hear from you thanks for your time